Ah, Porsche. One of the greatest automotive manufacturers in German history. Hailing from Germany, around the 1960s, Porsche made this. The 911. You know, just for thinking about it, all the 911s made today and before, nothing has really changed as far as appearance go. Yeah, sure, technological advancements, uh, a little bit of facelifting, you know, all that shenanigans are well good and stuff, but the 911 came from 1960s and now it became from that to this. But let me tell you a little Porsche 911 that a lot of people hate, or should I say hate a lot. They really hate this Porsche 911. Put it this way, do you guys know the Disney Pixar car, Cars movie franchise? This right here is Sally. She is based off a Porsche 911 and my oh my, this is one of the most hated Porsches ever made. The one I'm talking about is the Porsche 911 996 generation. It is the most hated 911 of all time, but I've been thinking since a lot of people love the Porsche 911, why do they hate this? Well, let's put it into simple terms. The Porsche 911 lovers really hate this car because of three things. A lot of the complaints that a lot of people who own 911s are usually complaining to the 996 because of the interior. I mean, they're saying like, I will never own a 911 because of the fact that it's, you know, it's, it looks outdated. I mean, sure, it's not that great. Even Rarity herself will not find this thing as cutting edge. Nobody will really define this interior as cutting edge. But take a look at the Dodge Durango from 1999. Look how basic this car looks like. And uh, just look at it. Just honestly, do you think that this is that this is something? So at least be thankful that the 996 interior is many steps above than what you think it is, compared to like cars like the Ford Taurus from 1999 as well. Throughout the history of the Porsche 911, the headlights have been circular. But this was quoted by Doug DeMuro on YouTube, and he described that the headlights were considered to be called the Fried Egg 911, which was referred to a lot of 911 owners who doesn't own the 996. Because look at the headlights. You know, like I said earlier, the headlights would have been circles. You now everything was all circular. But this one, what is this? <laughs> A lot of people really do hate it, but honestly, when I first driven the Roof RGT in Gran Turismo 3, this was okay. Yes, of course, the Roof RGT is based off the Porsche 911. Keep that in mind. But I'm going to be straight honest with you guys. Regardless of what the headlights look like, this is still a 911 in its own sense. Alright? The third, or in this case, the final reason why Porsche 911 owners happen to hate the 996 version of the car is something called the Intermediate Shaft Bearing, or abbreviated IMS. Well, first of all, a lot of cars, or majority of the cars, has something called an IMS. But, there's something, there's something bad happens to the 911, 996 model when the IMS fails. First of all, how, what happens when the IMS fails? So basically, you're driving your 911, cruising down the street, you know, just minding your own business, enjoying the luxury stuff around New York City, San Francisco, Los Angeles, or whatever city you guys live in, or happen to cruise, and somehow the IMS fails and this happens to your car. <laughs> When Doug DeMuro made the piss video of the Porsche 996 911, he said that the IMS is fixable, and uh, indeed it is. First of all, when the IMS fails and your engine explodes, it only just happens just 5% of the 
of the car. It's not the whole car or half of the car or at least three quarters of the car. It's fixable regardless, all right? So, um, just basically what I'm, what I'm trying to say here is if you're just going to find yourself some used 911, 996 models out on sale, just looking for some cool stuff about the 996, and just be sure to check the the 996's IMS, all right? So if there's any IMS that's like out of date or something or like completely worn out or starting to get old as you know because the 996 is a kind of an old car um, just spend at least two thousand dollars on a new IMS and after that you will never even worry about the IMS ever again. So in conclusion the 996 911 is a hated car and it's completely despised all over the world but to be honest with you there are some Porsche 911 owners who like this car. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Porsche. I mean, but I still like the 911 in general. So, this what I'm trying to say here is give the 996 a, a second thought because sometimes there are some benefits and cool stuff about the 996. I mean, sure, it's, it's not as technically advanced as the modern 911s or not as like cool looking as the old ones but come on it's still a 911 in its own heart regardless if it looks ugly by the looks of the headlights or whatever you guys think about it it's still a 911 look at the styling of the car nothing has really changed on it. I mean sure 911 996 911 has weird headlights but just like what I said throughout the history of the 911 the styling of the car remains the same I'm just a little, but just a little bit of facelifting or technically ad advanced features and stuff like that. Regardless of how new or ugly your 911 or old your 911 is, it's still a 911 at heart. In fact, I have an uncle who happens to own a 911 back in the 1990s. Not this, but an old, very old one. And I know what that 911 was that he used to own. He actually owned two. And those two were the 993s. Mm -hmm.